What's up guys, Video Gamester here and I'm just bringing you a video showing you how to make lots of money for beginners on GTA Online. So first you want to go to um, Online, then Jobs, Play Job, Rockstar Created, Missions, and Chase, uh, what is that? I think it's called Chasers. And it basically takes, oh by the way, put it on hard mode. Even though it'll be kind of difficult, it's still worth the money. It takes about four to five minutes to get it, uh, maybe $9,000. Uh, you're going to want to do it on your own unless you are speaking with the other person because if the other person spooks the driver, then you're screwed because his car, basically the whole point of this mission is to retrieve a car and bring it to the dealer. Uh, and if your uh, partner that you're not speaking with uh, messes it up for you, then the driver's gone because his car is so fast, it flies. If it, if it had wings, it would take off. It's super quick. Anyways, usually he starts out like all the way up here in the hills. So you're going to want to like corner him like this. What I'm about to do, watch. Go in front of him, slowly stop like that or else you're going to spook him. Also, make sure your gun's not out or else if you spook him, like look at that. If my car wasn't there, he would have been gone. His car is so quick. Anyways, if you're, if he's still alive, that's fine. But try to kill him because he usually has a gun and he's going to try to shoot at you. And sometimes he'll call the cops. You're going to get the cops on you anyways. So uh, watch here as I try to lose the cops. I wait, I wait. But no, I have to end up backing up because the cops are coming my way. It's kind of hard unless you start off in an area where there's a huge hill. You could just drive up it and you'd lose. You just wait there and lose the cops. Anyways, uh, you're going to see me go into a parking structure right here. And this is where I lose the police, right up here. After you lose the police, you're going to want to drive to the dealership. And it's pretty quick, uh, only because this car is super fast. I mean, you'll see. Uh, if my footage wasn't so sped up, you'd notice how fast it is. Um, <clears throat> I think I speed up the footage. I don't know why I don't. All right, whatever. It's super quick anyways. So, um, here are some tips for this particular mission. One is to not spook the driver. Make sure your uh, knife is or knife or gun or whatever is put away when you get out of the car. Make sure you don't hit the car, or else he's gonna uh, know that you're trying to steal it. Like this guy is very paranoid. He just he'll take off for any reason. That's basically it. Don't spook him. Get in front of him and slowly come to a stop. Anyways, guys. After you get over here, the mission will end and you'll get about $9,000 to $11,000 depending on how long it takes you. There will be a little bit of cutscene. He'll basically say like, oh, thank you very much. I appreciate you. You're my son. The only problem with this mission is that you cannot replay it from this screen right here. You cannot replay. So you have to go back into free mode and go to jobs, go to missions, chasers. Only problem I have, but you can do it over and over and over again. And look how much money it'll get you. Watch. This first time, I get $9,000. And a lot of RP. The second time, I get the same amount of JP. I don't know what that is. $10,000. Almost $11,000. And more J er, RP. And then this time, I get $11,000. It depends on how long it takes you. And whether or not like you die anyways guys this is video gamester make sure to rate comment and subscribe if you like this video then go feel free to check out some of my other videos and i'll be seeing you guys later i'm outro bye